In this video, you will learn how to add affiliate products to WooCommerce in just five easy steps. Let's head over to my WooCommerce demo shop and I'll show you how. Before we begin, we will need to be sure we have the WooCommerce plugin installed and activated on our WordPress site. I have found the easiest way to get WooCommerce set up is to start with the setup wizard. This walks you through the basics of setting up your store. Simply go to any of the WooCommerce pages in your WordPress admin, select help in the top right corner and choose the setup wizard tab. The first step is to add an affiliate product to your store. From your WordPress dashboard, navigate to products and click add new. This will open up the add new product window that looks like this. Here you will provide the product details. I like to start by giving my new product a unique name. Next, I add a long form description in the text editor box. Over on the right hand side, I like to choose a category from the categories list. If you are just getting started or you would like to add a new category, simply click on the add new category text link, type in the name of your category, and click add new category. Scroll down and below the first product description text box, you will find another product short description text box. By default, this short description will appear below your title and above your add to cart button. I like to include maybe one or two sentences about the product here. Next, over on the right hand side under product image, you can add your product's featured image. In addition, if your product has multiple images, you can choose to add additional images to your product gallery. Once you have entered all of your product details, it's time to add the product data. Scroll to the product data field and choose external affiliate product from the dropdown. You will notice this changes the product data meta box so that there is no longer a shipping tab along the left side. In addition, you will notice two new fields under the general tab, the product URL and button text fields. The next step is to add the unique affiliate link for the product in the product URL field. From the product data meta box, navigate to the general tab. It is the first tab located along the left side. In the product URL field, enter the affiliate link to the product. The next step is to update the product's button text. The button text field lets you change the standard add to cart button text to something of your choosing. I like to let my website visitors know where the link will take them. For example, if I want to offer my favorite camera kit that I purchased on Amazon, then I would update my WooCommerce shop's button text to something like, check price on Amazon. To update the product's button text, go to the general tab. In the button text field, enter the text that you want to display. This is the text that will be shown on the button that links to the external affiliate product. And lastly, you have the option to provide the price details for the affiliate product. In my experience, I have found this to be rather frustrating for website users. This is because the prices on the merchant's website may change over time. And if this happens, the price will not match what is displayed on your site. This will leave your website users frustrated, especially if the price has gone up significantly. To add the WooCommerce affiliate products price details, go to the general tab of the product data meta box. Just below the button text field, you will find the following two fields, regular price, and sale price. To the right of the sale price field, you will also notice a schedule link. Once you have finished adding all of the affiliate product details, click publish in the upper right hand corner of the add product page to make the product live. Take a moment to review the product on the front end of your website to make sure everything looks good. Now, if your website visitors are interested in an affiliate product that you offer, they can click the check price button and be redirected to make their purchase on the merchant's website. Once they make a purchase, you get credited a percentage of the sale in your affiliate account. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click the subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.